morning, and thanks very much for joining us. We're continuing our interviews this week with the Democratic candidates for lieutenant governor by welcoming Tammy Guvea, a public health expert and social worker who has represented Acton, Chelmsford, Concord, and Carlisle in the House since 2018. Representative, welcome. Good to see Thank you. Thank you. Good seeing you. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. So as we're taping this, our viewers know we taped a couple days in advance here, a new super PAC with reported ties to at least one big-time Republican donor and a longtime advisor to Governor Baker as its lead consultant has been formed to help the candidacy of one of your competitors, Kim Driscoll, the yeah. mayor of Salem. Now, it's no secret that quite a few Baker loyalists have rallied behind the Heal uh, Maura Healy's candidacy for governor. Do you believe this story reflects a Healy campaign preference for Driscoll on the ticket? I don't know that it necessarily reflects a Healy preference in this in this race, but what I do believe is that this super PAC, which is a Mitch McConnell Republican super PAC, does not reflect the values of those of us here in the state of Massachusetts. When you look at the kind of Supreme Court we ended up with because of a Mitch McConnell leadership uh, that is threatening reproductive justice, that's threatening civil rights of LGBTQ folks. There's a lot at stake here, and I do call on Mayor Driscoll to disavow uh, the creation of this PAC in, in support of her candidacy. But legally, she has no control at I understand over it, that. Right? I it's understand that. It's supposed to be completely independent. Super Absolutely. Powers. But I think, you know, the kind of leadership that we need in the corner office is someone who's really going to stay true to the progressive values that we have here in Massachusetts. And so there is a step that she can take, even if, you know, they're not supposed to coordinate and that kind of thing. She can distance herself from it um, okay. rather than choosing to benefit from and it. Just to be clear, are you or aren't you suggesting that Kim Driscoll is some kind of Mitch McConnell Republican? I'm not suggesting that, but I'm saying that accepting money mean from this kind of pack or money on on her behalf um, that's going towards her campaign, I think it should leave all of us uh, asking why would a Republican uh, PAC like this one, uh, the Mitch McConnell type Republican PAC, why would they choose to support a Democratic candidate in the primary here in Massachusetts? People should be asking themselves that question. Okay, well voters who take a, a Democratic ballot, Democrats and independents, and look at the three candidates for Lieutenant Governor are I think gonna wonder what's the difference? take it away. What's the difference yeah. between you, Driscoll, and Senator Eric Lesser, the third candidate? So I've been in um, the space of public service and giving back to our communities and to our state for the last 25 years. As a social worker, I'm now a doctor of public health. I've been serving in the legislature for the last four years, really taking bold positions and bold stances. Uh, you know, we're in the middle of a, a third day of the heat wave. I've taken action and passed legislation related to the climate crisis, passed legislation to, you know, stem the tide around the opioid crisis, uh, really have been leading on that throughout my career. We need a doctor of public health. We need someone who's really focused on the health, the well-being, and the dignity of our residents, and really putting people at the center of how we're making decisions. You know, we have the, the T, the orange line, caught on fire today. People having to punch out windows to get, you know, because of the fire on a bridge. Some, somebody, you know, jumped off the bridge. Like, huge concerns we have in our, here in our state because we have underinvested in our infrastructure, and we have not put people at the center of how we're making decisions about where our money goes.